one. I'm tired of hiking already. There's a pretty little stream though, and I'm not far from my canna. But um, here's me. I'm tired. How sweet is that if it were a hot day? But it's not. Big cliff. I think I'm going to be at the top of that pretty soon. I will try not to fall off, Doug. There's a lake. I'm not sure. I don't have time to stop and find out what it is. Oh, that thing is too shabby. Hard to see where I'm going and film. Probably too shaky for you guys. That's a beautiful spot. Oh, I love this stuff. It's so big. There's a trail. It's just so big. I'm above Pear Lake, and it would have been nice to stop there, but I've got to chalk up the miles because I've got 17 and a half extra ones. This is a cool place, though. It's a sort of a granite avalanche thing, and of course, the lake is there. But it's completely out of water. And this little spring comes out of the ground. I just come over a path, so I thought, no way is there going to be water for a long time. But there is. I'm filtering it. There's a hummingbird who wants these flowers. And she keeps coming up and then seeing me and going, oh, damn it, there's someone there. And then she'll come back and try again. So we're almost nose to nose because the flowers are really close. I'm very bummed because I went the wrong way and I went over a pass. Lots of gain and loss. Five miles I think I went the wrong way total. I mean two and a half and then came back. And now it's getting dark. I'm in the middle of nowhere. I'm tired. And there's no camp for a long time. Oh well. Jump in the water here, uh, Lake Sally Ann, and there's nobody here to film it, so um, I can't film it. So you're just gonna have to take my word for it. And I hope you can see how beautiful it is. I did it, I did it. It was effing freezing. It was beautiful blue down there, but I only saw it for a split second because I was like, ow, this is cold. And if I were a boy right now, everything would be gone. And if you jumped into a lake with snow adjoining it, you know what I'm talking about. This is what a lot of through hiking is like. Solo at least. I think I might get more tired by myself than I do when I've got company. Um, the smoke is really bad and it's hiding all the views, which is a bummer. I can't even tell if um, behind me there is Glacier Peak. Like, there's just nobody. I am totally alone with the marmots. All day. I mean, I like not a lot of yahoos, but 
Like, I forget how to talk. Well, no, but you know. Oh my God, I'm so tired. I talked to somebody who said that the um, detour around the fire is horrible. So I don't think I'm gonna do it, which means now I don't have to make 18 miles a day, which is good. Came around the corner and saw this. There's a little campsite down there. And if it's not dry, that's where I'm going to stay. There was no water there, just kind of boggy snow melt. So I guess I'm spending the night in here somewhere. It's a little intimidating. Kind of a big glacial cirque. Pretty barren. Kind of cold wind. I'm a little scared. It's 7 p.m. and I've kind of had enough wilderness experience for today. Ah. Um, I just want to camp. I just want somewhere I can set up my little tent and be cozy. Well, the bridge collapsed. But I'm crossing it anyway. There's no other way to cross this thing. Oh, finally cleared. Can you see who's been hiding out all this time? And it's just so big. So freaking tired. Oh my god. Another stream. I wish I was camping here. But I have miles to go before I sleep. This place is kind of cool. But I'm so exhausted that I've lost my capacity for that appreciation, or at least most of it. I know it's beautiful, but I'm too whooped to feel it. Spectacular beauty, spectacular beauty. But all I want is camp, because I'm so tired, oh my God. do this because it is so beautiful.
beautiful. And there is nobody here. No yahoos. Just me and the cascade. That's what I like. I end up in the, in the weirdest places all by myself at about 6.30 p.m. Oops. <laughs> I think I, I climbed um, 5,000 feet today and I think I hiked 23, 24 miles. And I'm up here at the top of this pass. I still have a long way to go before I can make camp. And I am more tired than I can say. And I have to carry this guy. This is Chubbs. Chubbs the blue chub. Yeah, never does anything to help me. Just, just dead weight. Just weighs a ton. Anyway, <laughs> this is personal best for me. Woohoo! traveling on this for the last day. So smoky, my poor friends who want to finish are gonna have to reroute past Ross Lake. Um, it's gotten so smoky. I mean, tomorrow is really my last day, but today is my last full day when I'll be camping. It's so smoky you can hardly see. And I can smell There it is again. Same river, kind of further down. Um, I don't even take breaks anymore. I just go. I kind of can't remember why I used to like to take breaks because you're just hiking. It's kind of like when you're driving, you're just driving. You don't stop the car and go, oh, I need a break. Same thing here. Anyway, as you can see, somebody gave me a mask, some nice lady. That's all. Ooh, this is a wobbly one. Oh, don't drop the phone. How do you do this shit? I mean, not hike, but quite a bit of it. Alright! I did it! I did it! <laughs>